To bring it in line with the firm's latest models, Peugeot has given the 508 a fresh face and a new infotainment system for 2023. With a new design direction, an updated logo and bullish electrification plans, Peugeot is undergoing a significant revamp as of late. This year, the 508 large hatchback and its SW Estate sibling have come under the knife for a round of updates to keep them competitive until potential all-electric replacements arrive from the second half of the decade. The styling changes are very much evolutionary, with a front end that takes inspiration from the 408 fastback. Peugeot's new crest logo is front and center within a new radiator grille, which blends into the bodywork and headlights. The latter are matrix LED units, with three fang-like running light strips extending into the bumper. New 18-inch alloys wheels have been fitted too, and the taillights have been restyled with a claw-like design. Subtle tweaks, including a new Peugeot script at the back, which replaces the previous Lion badge, lift the exterior, but the updated 508 is familiar. Customers can choose from seven exterior paint finishes for the facelifted car, including three new colors, and Peugeot has upgraded the infotainment inside. There's still a 10-inch screen mounted in the dashboard, but it now runs the company's newest iConnect advanced software. The interface is customizable with widgets and shortcuts, and includes a TomTom connected navigation system and an OK Peugeot voice assistant. The setup is supported by over-the-air updates to improve functionality over time, too. The general cabin architecture is unchanged from the previous 508, with a set of piano-style shortcut keys beneath the screen. The center console has been decluttered with a smaller gear selector, and Peugeot's i-cockpit layout is still present. There's a small steering wheel set below a 12-inch digital gauge cluster, which offers new configurable displays for navigation, media and powertrain energy flow readouts in plug-in hybrid models. The 508 also offers AGR certified front seats, which can be optioned with an electric memory function, seat heating and a pneumatic massaging system. New fabric and Alcantara upholstery options are standard as part of the updates, with Napa leather trim available as an option. A punchier 10-speaker focal sound system can be installed, too. When it comes to practicality, the new 508 and 508 SW Estate match their predecessors with boot capacities of 487 and 530 liters, respectively. Folding the rear seats in the 508 SW boosts this to a cavernous 1,780 liters. Peugeot has simplified the model lineup for the facelifted 508, which launches in Allure, GT or Peugeot Sport Engineered specifications. As before, the high-performance PSE adopts a 355 bhp plug-in hybrid powertrain built around a 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine. This combines with an electric in the gearbox and one on the rear axle to provide 355 bhp and four-wheel drive, with the electric element powered by a 12.4 kWh battery pack. Using a 7.4 kW charger, the battery can be topped up in 1 hour and 40 minutes. For Allure and GT versions of the 508, engine options consist of petrol, diesel and plug-in hybrid units. Petrol power comes in the form of a 1.2-liter unit, while the diesel is a 1.5-liter four-cylinder motor. Both produce 129 bhp. Alongside the outgoing car's 222 bhp 1.6-liter plug-in hybrid unit, the new 508 will be sold with a less potent 178 bhp variant of this powertrain for the first time, lowering the entry point for electrified versions. All engines are equipped with an 8-speed automatic gearbox as standard. To alter the 508's behavior on the move, a range of drive modes can be selected from Eco to Sport, while optional adaptive dampers can be switched between Comfort, Normal and Sport settings. In tandem with its extra power, the PSE gets a lower ride height with wider tracks, 24mm and 12mm front and rear, respectively, for improved handling, along with uprated brakes and 20-inch alloys. These are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. To improve safety, an array of driver assist systems are available with the facelifted 508 including blind spot monitoring, night vision, parking cameras and adaptive cruise control with a stop and go function. Prices for the new 508 have not yet been outlined by Peugeot, 
but expect a small increase over the outgoing car's £33,945 starting price when it goes on sale later this year. That's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on our list? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more future videos.